Dear students, I am Syed Ahmed. I am MA English, MBA, a PhD scholar in training. I have been coaching students of English for almost 10 years now. I am the CEO of Sign In Academy for English and Overseas Education. In my so many years of experience, I have interface met a lot of students of Telugu and Hindi medium. The challenge that I have seen him, them facing is the challenge of framing a sentence in past tense. Example here. I was painted this picture. This is a sentence which is normally used by a lot of students of Telugu and Hindi medium. There's a mistake in this. What the mistake in this? We're going to discuss a bit later. I was scolded by my teacher. Now for you to understand this, you have to first understand that there are five B forms of verb. B forms of verb. What are they? Is, am, was, are, were. Students of Telugu medium and Hindi medium generally have a problem understanding should I use this or should I not use this. To understand this, it's a very simple trick that I want to impart to you that will help you understand whether the usage of this is required or not required. Let's take the first sentence. I was painted. What the B form of verb is here? The B form of verb is was here. What is the other verb here? Painted. To understand whether B form of verb, verb is required here or not, a very simple understanding that you have to do. What you have to understand is, this is the verb, apart from the B form of verb, this is the verb. This action of painted, has it been done by this? Yes. This action of painting has been done by I. So when this action is done by I, we do not require a B form of verb. Then where is this B form of verb required? For you to understand this, I give you the next example. I was scolded by the teacher. What's the B form of verb here? The B form of verb is was. Was. What is the other verb? Scolded. Ante? Titna. Who scolded? Was the scolding done by I? No. When the scolding is not done by I, this is required. When is this not required? I take you back to the previous example. Painted. Who did the painting? I did. When I did it, uh, this is not required. Second sentence. Scolded. Who did the scolding? Did I do? No. Who did? Teacher did. When scolded was not done by I, this is required. Hope I am clear. To make it understand further, I am going to give the examples using other B forms of verb. This is one more wrong sentence framed by a lot of students. He is went to the market. This is what I have seen students framing, which is a mistake. Now to understand whether is is required or not, you have to understand a very simple thing. Apply the same trick. What's the trick? Apart from the B form of verb, what's the other verb here? The other verb is went. Who did it? He did it. When he did it, is, is not required. To further understand this, further consolidate your understanding, 
strengthen your strengthen your understanding of this i am going to give you one more example i am completed the work apart from the b form of verb what is the other verb completed who did it i did it when i did it am is not required let's take one more example sentences they are informed by the social media person daily they are informed by the social media person daily apart from the b form of verb what is the verb in the sentence informed who did the informing they did they did the informing no who did media person did they did no when they did not do when they did not do informing r is required i'll give one more example what sentences they were beat the person beat is beat in past tense as well normally it is understood as bet which is a mistake beat is beat even in past tense present tense past tense beat remains same they were beat the person wrong sentence why wrong apart from the b form of verb apart from the b form of verb what's the verb here beat who did the beating they did the beating when they did the beating this is not required hope i am clear thank you